No idiots. We got a treat special for you tonight. All those TG bros, you thought I forgot about you? Nah, -uh. we got the RTX 40,000 series dropping hard with the 4070, the 4060, and the 4060 Ti. Of course, we do have the old Legion 3060 in here. You'll be like, well, why is that tech? Now? Well, let me show you this piece of wonderfulness that HP provided for us, this single fan greatness card. Probably like, whoa, dude, what the hell happened there? Well... All I'm gonna say is that's for a separate video or maybe I'll tell you about it when we're doing the installation, but um, what's in store for this video? We're gonna do all three GPUs. We're gonna show you, we're not gonna show it installed, but we'll show them all installed and lit up. We, are, we will install the RTX 30 or RTX 4070 and a RAM upgrade because if you don't have dual channel RAM and you're trying to run this type of a GPU, just forget about it. It's Fuju, it's Fugazi or however they, the Italians say it, Fugazi. Fugazi, Fugazi, whatever the heck that word is. Anyways, guys, we're going to get to this upgrade, and we are going to get some RTX awesomeness in this TG01. All right, guys, we're going to start this upgrade off by throwing some RAM in here. So go ahead and take out your old RAM. Tall side RAM goes towards the top, goes towards the sky. Put the stick away from you first. Make sure there's no wires out of the way. Go bing, bam, boom. Constant even pressure, click, click. First stick's in. And we're gonna do the second stick. Constant even pressure, make sure that the tall side's towards the sky. I was actually wrong there. And click. Ram upgrade done. Just remember guys, there are tabs up here you will have to press. I'll show you guys down here. On the top and the bottom. And these are the tabs that will release it. I know I kind of didn't show it. I'm moving kind of fast here. So I'm trying to make this a quick video. All right, go ahead and pull your power off. This is the first thing you should always do. Set this guy off to the side. We're going to come down in the rear, and we got a T15 Turk set right here. I already have it prepared with my iFixit Mako kit. Go remove that. Set that screw off the side for later. You're going to need it. Open your door. Go down here, and there's a little stupid tab button that you got to press down. It sometimes retains it, sometimes it doesn't. Go and grab your graphics card. Try not to pull from the fans. And just pull straight out. And here's our RTX 3060 Legion, or the card, the card that's out of the Legion. Set that off to the side. And let's grab our Zotac RTX 4070. Make sure you pull any plastic bits off, like this PCI Express cover, or anything that's right here, because this will actually interfere with your installation. Come in here, and we're going to slot our card on home. Come on, baby. You know you want to go in. There we go. And there we go. Our card slotted home. Go ahead and close your door. Come back to the rear. Grab a T15 Torx head. <sighs> and send her on home. This is the screw that retains the graphics card. Not screw, most, most of the time, the screws will go right here. But this PC is not like that. It's just this T15 Torx head right here. All right, we're going to swing back over here, and I'm going to do something very special. i got to plug this, this uh, 6 plus 2 pin in, and the tab goes towards the top, towards the sky. It's kind of twisted on you. So make sure you get all your wires and everything together. So get it combined like that, get it turned around. This might protrude. If that happens, kind of roll your connector in, and you'll feel it. There you go. Make sure it's seated that you don't see any of that connector pulling out. Right now it is seated. All right, guys, after you get your GPU installed, you are going to go ahead and power your PC up. I am going to put all the other 40 series cards in here, the 4060, 4060 Ti, and the 4070. Have them lit up so you guys can see. One thing I will interject about is the power supply. If you have the 500-watt power supply, you're good with all three of these cards. The 400-watt power supply will run these cards, but it's going to be very tight. I would prefer and feel more comfortable with the 500-watt at least once you get past like the 4060 Ti. We're gonna get some games and benchmarks rocking on this TG01, and let's send her on down the road. Oh, oh, my, forever's like a life. I don't 
Alright guys, we got the games and benchmarks done and the results are in. The RTX 4070 was of course the clear winner and uh, the second best is RTX 4060 Ti. I mean, of course, come on, who would have guessed? Um, if you have an HP Victus or a TG01, I'm gonna say get a 4070. If you cannot afford a 4070, I would say get a 4060 Ti. If you cannot afford a 4060 Ti, get a 4060. If you cannot afford a 4060, and at that point, you got to look at the price because, you know, you can practically get an RTX 3070 at that price point. Um, so I would say 4070, 4060 Ti, and then RTX 3070 in that kind of order. Um, other than that, guys, I will talk a little bit about this GPU. At the time, I was doing a bunch of mining because crypto was po popular. And we had this PC to demo on Tech Nitwit. And kind of what happened is this thing took a giant turd on us. And we're like, well, at least we got our videos done before it took a turn on us. Pretty much the power supply that runs the fan took a took a giant nose jive. And uh, yeah, so we contacted HP and they're like, oh yeah, send us the whole PC back and we'll give you a refund. And we're like, well, that's not gonna work. Just send us a graphics card. And HP's like, no, send us the PC. And we're like, yeah, HP, you failed us this time. This time. So yeah, not everything has been great in hunky-dory with HP. Most of the time when they are not, in a, and that was in a weird time too because it was like COVID and all that other stuff that was going on. So, you know, supplies were very limited and they were like, we're not even going to send you another, you know, GPU, just send us back the PC and we'll give you a refund. And it's like, well, that doesn't help us for TechNet. We need the PC to demo, unbox, and do, you know, upgrades and testing. But guys, so that's the whole jazz of this blown RTX 3060 that uh, had a Noctua fan strapped to it and then plugged into you know the CPU fan controller because um, I pretty much just mined it into the ground because the card's useless. Still works, still could play video games on it. Um, but yeah, it's a big useless RTX 3060. Anyways guys, I'm Tech Newwood. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out y'all.